In the summer of 1916, thousands of Irish soldiers from the 36th Ulster and 16th Irish Divisions were wounded and killed as they fought against the German army in northern France. From late 1914, British and French armies had faced the German Empire across an area known as the Western Front, a defensive line of trenches, barbed wire and fortresses running across northern France and Belgium. The Battle of the Somme was initially meant to be a joint offensive between the Allied French and British forces. Most of the French army, however, had become heavily occupied at the Battle of Verdun and could no longer commit the same level of resources. The 36th Ulster Division, a largely Unionist group, including members of the Ulster Volunteer Force, was part of Britain's new Volunteer Army. It was one of 25 British Army divisions who would take part in the opening days of the Somme Offensive. Ahead of the attack, an artillery barrage was planned to destroy the well-prepared trenches and barbed wire of the German defences. The barrage, however, failed to completely destroy German fortifications. The consequences for those going over the top would be horrific. 7.30 a.m. on July the 1st was zero hour, the moment for a massed infantry attack on the Somme to begin. Ulster Division soldiers prepared to attack the enemy on either side of the River Ancre, with the most difficult objective being the fortress known as the Schwaben Redoubt. Just before zero hour, the bombardment stopped and the Allied forces rose from their trenches and advanced across no man's land. Men from the Ulster Division made it to the German trenches by 7.35 a.m. By 9 a.m., areas known as the Schwaben Redoubt and the Crucifix were captured. However, German forces in the ruins of nearby Thiepval were well entrenched, and their machine gun fire continued throughout the day. Despite the successes registered by some of the Ulster Division, British forces across the battlefield were finding it much tougher to take ground. The air was full of hissing, burning metal and screams. Many men sheltered in shell holes. Some were blown to pieces, others pushed on. Four of the nine Victoria Cross winners on July the 1st were soldiers of the Ulster Division. By July the 3rd, over 5,000 men were dead, wounded or taken prisoner. The Battle of the Somme would play out over the coming months, including attacks at the villages of Guillemont and Ginchy in September 1916. The 16th Irish Division, comprising men from across Ireland, many of whom were nationalists who had been encouraged to fight in the hope of home rule, took part and suffered heavy casualties. Over 4,400 Irish Division soldiers were killed or wounded. In November 1916, British commander Sir Douglas Haig claimed pressure had been relieved on the French at Verdun. He called an end to any further offensives at the Somme for the year. Over one million men on both sides were killed or wounded at the Somme, including 400,000 soldiers of the British Empire. Some historians think the Somme campaign marked a turning point for the British, despite the terrible casualty list. The mighty German army had also suffered great losses. Allied commanders decided to press on in a war of attrition that lasted until German surrender in November 1918. In the new Northern Ireland state, founded in 1921, commemoration of the 36th Ulster Division's bravery and losses at the Somme became an important feature of the Unionist calendar. The 16th Division's campaign was mostly forgotten. The Easter Rebellion of 1916 assumed a much greater significance for nationalists.